everyone, it's the Real J Doll here on the Real J Doll's channel, coming to you today to give you guys a video on how I grew my hair in a matter of five months. So right off the back, I just want to go ahead and tell you guys that I have been natural all my life. I've gotten one perm probably when I was like in third grade I want to say and ever since then my mom just didn't ever give me a perm again so thanks mom for that because if I would have had perms in my hair my hair probably wouldn't look the way it did now I also have low porosity hair um for those that don't know low porosity hair basically means that my hair does not retain moisture as well as it should I'm gonna first go ahead and show you guys the before and after because I know y'all want to see it this right here is before um, this was October of 2018 so that was how my hair was looking then and then March of 2019 so this year this is how my hair looked so you know it's looking pretty good um, right now my hair is kind of a mess it's all over the place but I am going to give you guys a quick little length check I didn't blow up my hair for this video because I didn't want to but yeah my hair is right here from the front looking at my hair from the back side I am here and this ladies and gentlemen is my bra strap I got my notebook full of about like five key tips that I want to share with you guys today so let's go ahead and get into it Dang. okay y'all so the first thing I want to talk about today is the illusion of big hair now, I know you guys are like, what? But yes, there are tricks that you can do to give yourself that illusion. If you're not there yet, it can help you look like you got an inch of fuller hair than you really do. My hair tends to shrink up a lot. So like, without the look of a... Yeah, no, that was a big exaggeration. But my hair is already shrunk, as you can see. So let's get back to the video. The first thing of how to achieve the illusion of thicker and fuller hair is dry hair. Dry hair doesn't necessarily mean don't moisturize your hair, don't put water in your hair. That just means moisturize your hair earlier on in the day, you know, while you're going around the house, making breakfast, getting ready, da da da, da because your hair will air dry and when your hair is drier, your hair looks fuller. When your hair is wet, it's flat and laid down. Um, so right now my hair is probably about 80% dry. It's still a little wet in some areas, but I did my hair in the morning and now it's drier. The second part of the illusion of thick hair is stretching your hair. You can do two methods in stretching your hair. You can use the rubber band method. It's basically where you get like the elastic bands. You pull your hair back into a ponytail, put one elastic band here, one elastic band there, one a little further you know you do your hair like that when it's wet and then over the course of the day or if you do it overnight by the time you go to take the rubber bands out your hair is drier and your hair is like kind of stuck in that position I've watched some youtubers that have also done the second method and that's the blow drying method I don't like that because that's just more heat you're putting on your hair and heat on your hair even though it's not a flat iron the blow dryer still isn't the best the last step I want to tell you guys about the illusion of big hair is day two hair the first time you do a wash and go your hair is gonna be flatter because it's still gonna be wet it's gonna be in the nice coils that you want but over the course of the week your hair is gonna get bigger and bigger and your hair is gonna volumize itself so if you want to get that day two hair kind of look all you have to do is do your wash and go at night the night before wake up the next morning and your hair is bigger I say overnight put your hair in a bun make sure you have your silk scarf silk pillowcase you know bonnet don't just go to sleep on the cotton pillowcase because that's bad for your hair my second major tip for this video is to treat your hair like a garden let me tell you something when you have a plant there are things that you need to do in order for your plant to grow same thing applies to your hair the first thing is watering your hair daily I put water on my hair every day I drink water every day water is a part Part of my daily life in the morning time what I found that works best for my hair is I take my spray bottle take it to the bathroom fill it up with hot water yes I do this every morning and then I immediately spray the water on my hair and style it right then and there putting hot water on your hair helps to open your hair shafts it allows your hair to take in more moisture and moisture is what you want in order for your hair to grow also moisturizing your hair daily I use hair milks I don't necessarily use leave-in conditioners as much anymore but hair milks those really help give your hair that good good that it really needs 
creams and butters those are cool too but you need something that's more lightweight and thinner to go on your hair right after you spray it with water finally when you're thinking about a garden you always have to make sure you clear the garden of weeds you know all the bad stuff that the plant doesn't need same thing applies for your hair you want to cut the ends of your hair I say every three months um, some do every two some do six months but what has worked best for me is three months at a time I actually need to go ahead and trim my hair pretty soon I stopped going to the hairdresser to get my hair trimmed because I feel like they took too much hair off and I'm trying to keep my hair I actually have some hair cutting scissors and I use those and I just kind of like eyeball it and it takes a long time because you can't go big clumps at a time you have to go in little sections and I just cut the bare minimum and it's been working for my hair ever since number three be a good friend to your hair being a good friend actually consists of paying attention to your friend knowing what your friend does like doesn't like what irritates her aggravates her what makes her happy same thing to your hair at first it was hard for me to start understanding my hair but the more I got into it the more I learned some products made my hair feel brittle some made my hair feel too soft some made my hair feel good you really have to pay attention to the products that you are putting in your hair if you don't want to spend too much money on trying to find good products to use for your hair, watch this video right here. I recorded it like a month or so ago and it shows natural hair products that you can get on a budget that still work good. And yes, I use those products in my hair. Number four, ladies, is to keep it clean, okay? Keep it clean. The first thing I want to talk about is washing your hair. Um, I know at first we always heard wash your hair every two weeks, you know, don't wash your hair too much because especially as African Americans, we don't produce as much oil as other races do. But guys, I wash my hair every week, especially being low porosity product tends to build up fast on my hair. And when product builds up fast on your hair, it doesn't really give your hair a chance to breathe. Detoxes like the Aztec clay mask and apple cider vinegar, I probably do that once maybe twice a month you don't want to over cleanse your hair because things like those are really harsh on your hair and you don't want to do that too much because you're going to dry out your hair deep conditioning i deep condition my hair every two weeks there was a point in time when i was deep conditioning my hair every week um i don't want to say that hurt my hair but i just feel like it worked better when i did it every two weeks deep conditioning is very important and I really feel like you should do it if you don't do anything else in this video actually if you don't do anything else in this video water your hair every day but this is the second thing that if you won't listen to anything else in this video you should do next is don't go heavy on the oils hair growth oils are cool sometimes I only found one that really works for me and that is the wild growth oils oils tend to be really heavy on your hair they can also clog your hair shafts pores whatever they're called they'll clog it up you don't want to go heavy on oils with your hair especially like if you're actually putting it on your hair hair and not on your scalp that's not good your hair is going to feel brittle and weird and you'll have to wash your hair more often if your hair feels gunky during the middle of the week you can always co-wash i never like shampoo during the middle of the week i only shampoo on the weekends when i'm actually doing my wash days but if i have too much product in my hair maybe like on a wednesday or a thursday i'll co-wash it and co-washing is basically using conditioners to wash your hair so you'll just get in the shower or go to the sink however you wash your hair get your hair real wet and then get some of the conditioner put it on your hair and just lather it in like it's regular shampoo rinse it out and you're good to go co-washing is a lot lighter than shampooing some people they don't shampoo at all they just co-wash but i feel like you need to shampoo your hair to get the gunk out and then co-washing is just like a get a little bit out for the final section of this video i really didn't have a title for this section but i just want to talk about the importance of low manipulation hairstyles this consists of sew-ins wigs box braids knotless braids faux locks whatever kind of hairstyle that you have to put your hair in so you're not touching it every day 